Hello, everybody. Welcome to the live stream. Where this is a caricature tutorial live stream, caricature hangout, whatever you want to call it. Uh, thanks for tuning in in the live stream. Thanks for tuning in in the uh, replay. And um, we're going to get going here. We use earthsworld.com as a website reference. It's usually people at the state fair. See, we can, I found a face here, so we're gonna we're gonna start with that one. Um, as always, I like to um, reference Tom Richmond's book, "The Mad Art of Caricature." Sorry, I got a microphone here. We're just testing it out. There we go. All right. I mean, if you're interested in this kind of stuff, you might want to pick up this book by Tom Richmond, The Mad Art of Caricature. Very good book. Um, talks about head shapes, T shapes, which we're going to get into. That's the T shape. And we're going to get into all of it. So, here we go. This is what we were working on earlier. Let me get rid of some of this stuff. And uh, find some paper here and get to drawing. This is like if you were to sit in front of me at a live setting at an event, you know, this is how I would draw you. This is quick sketch. So uh, here we go. Um, overall shape of the face is square yet round also. So I'm using a Prismacolor art stick here. So, so just for guidelines, I don't really use these that much live. And uh, the hair really does most of the work here, framing in most of the face like that, you know. Um, it's kind of at a little, not really a three-quarter view, but... Uh, Bring the eyes up like that. And then the mouth would be somewhere in here. All right, let's go. Let's hit it with the marker. I use Crayola markers. I usually start with the eyes. These eyes are kind of, one eye is pointing down, angled downward. And she's a little heavy with the eye makeup, um, obviously. So there's a little bit of an eyelid there, but most of it is obscured by the eyelashes. And how about those eyebrows? <laughs> wow. Let's just hit the other eye here, just so I got a road map on what I'm doing. All right. Here's your bravery test. How about those eyebrows? Yeah, I think we'll exaggerate those, right? <laughs> hey, let's go look. Larry, here for the watch time. Larry, I appreciate it, brother. Thank you. Hey, Larry, where's Chad been? Mini Van Venturing. I, I, uh, I haven't seen him. I'm just wondering if everything's all right or... If I'm missing his notifications or something, I don't know what's going on. But I, I've been busy with work too, so it's just been crazy. Um, we're going to keep these eyes dark mostly, but uh, give a highlight. Hope you're doing good, Larry. She's got a nose that definitely turns up. And there is a nose ring there. Thank you, Larry. And the mouth. All right. 
it's always funny looking at this website. Like, I think these people finally realize they're getting their picture taken. It's <laughs> like the expressions on their uh, face is something else. All right. There's a little bit of bottom teeth showing like that. There we go. And we'll do our fill in. I'm drawing a little slower than I would live. Um, this is the first drawing of the evening, so usually I'm not really warmed up yet. But once I get warmed up and going, it's all good. Got a little chin. Almost got like a childish look about her. I want to get that roundness of the face. Small forehead and the hair. Right off the page with it. I'm not getting into too much of the bodies today, but we'll just do head and shoulders here. Like that. Okay. All right. The other side of the hair. Not much is seen. But we'll, we'll do something like that. And we're going to put some hair over here also. Something like that. All right. I'm happy with it. We'll shade it in and see how she looks. Alrighty. First one of the evening's always a little rusty, but I don't think this one's too rusty. Here I'm using a, a Prisma Color Art Stick. They are essentially a woodless colored pencil. And you want to shade in the areas where there would be a shadow, you know. The upper lip is usually, usually in shadow because of the nose. And the bottom of the lower lip, I, I, I put in shadow. And sometimes even the teeth get a little shadow. It's weird to leave them stark white, you know. Underneath the hair, definitely. You want to go dark under here kind of pushes everything forward. Let's just hit the shirt since we're here. All righty. You can even use these sticks to draw with too. And you want to go in the same direction you know you're, these are very um not forgiving type of uh instrument to use i gotta turn this this way to get the angle i'm gonna hit the eyes a little a little heavier Even that cheek 
All right, guys, what do you think? Not bad for a first first one? Hey, we got somebody else in here. Thanks for the likes. Appreciate it. All righty. Let's see who else we got here. Oh, I could have went full screen like that. Well, we'll do that next. Next victim. You know, I usually look for straight on views, you know. Wow, that's kind of cool. Yeah, she's got a striking look about her. Um, she is in kind of a shadow. Oh, when I go full screen, it won't let me zoom. So we'll do this. Alrighty. Um, immediately, what I what do, what do I see? The eyes, but immediately about the head shape, I see uh, a wide cheekbone. Hey, Jim, how you doing? Prismacolor art sticks. Oops, sorry, I missed that. Prismacolor art sticks are the expensive ones, correct? Yes, they are, but mine lasts forever. Kind of. Do you have to use expensive paper? Or with a grit, can you use printer paper? This is very soft paper, but I have that pad, a foam pad underneath, Jim. Um, but yes, the grit paper does help. Um, but yeah, you just got to find what works for you, you know. One, two, three humps there, and um, I'm going to come up even higher with the cheekbones. Okay, I'm going to put the eyes like that. Like that. Let's go right to it. I always start with the left eye as facing us. These ones are really uniquely shaped. I'll, I'll give her that. Man, there's something with these, these eyebrows, man. These girls lately. I don't know what's up with that. Hey, whatever works. I'll have her looking off to the side. Another eyebrow going like that. Looking off to the side like that. Now this nose is definitely one to exaggerate. It's very um very um distinct. Which I kind of screwed up, but don't say anything. <laughs> Should have came down like that. Oh, well, I screwed up the nose. You know what you do for that? Pardon me. I wanted to get that nose just right, and I missed it. Don't mind me. I'm going to start with the nose. There we go. Much better. See? All right. These eyes are angled down. I got some angles to them. See how quick you can just pick up if you screw up, you know? I've only done that live like twice. And that was about it. And um, so I was happy with just screwing up about twice in the, I don't know, 10 years I've been doing this.
There we go. Cheekbones. I'm going wide with them. And a small chin. She's got some cheeks to her right here, if you look. You know? And she does have a butt chin. And looks like she has a tank top on. And she has a tattoo. And I always put a little shadow underneath like that. Here's my screw up. <laughs> I'm going to go a little heavier with the the eyebrow. I just can kind of see that needs a little more attention for likeness. There we go. All right. Now what? The dreaded hair. Think of it as 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 the shape of the hair rather than uh, every individual uh, piece of hair. And if you think of it like that, it, it may help you out. So I work from the inside out, guys, as you can tell. Now remember, there's a skull under here. I know I say that a lot, but it's important to remember. And we'll see, like, there's three humps, one, two, three. I'm just going to do that. <laughs> and then your finishing touches. I go heavier on the outline, if you're noticing, just to kind of hold the caricature together. I like how this one came out. Um, these ones can throw you off from time to time. These ones with the, the, the hair buns, you know. But I've learned to just simplify them, and I, I hope I'm getting that across. All right, let's shade it in. Thanks, Jim. Thanks, Larry, for the likes. Everybody for tuning in. This this one was a fun one too. Let's try to draw a guy next. I think we just drew two women, so we'll look for a a guy, a male, male customer. Underneath the nose, you can give a little shading, too. And these are... You can cover a lot of ground really quick with these. But you got to be careful. They can get away from you, as you're seeing here. It's hard to... Sometimes they got uneven edges here and it can get away from you. But if you have a hard eraser, like one of these old school erasers, you can sometimes erase it. See, that worked and I, a little bit. But here's the tip. Don't press into your paper while you're erasing this because that's going to put it into the paper, into the tooth of the paper. Glide it across and it'll, it'll work better for you like that. See, not, you may or may not notice that, but it is a little bit lighter, but kind of hard to get rid of these things once you uh, put the marks down. I love them, but I hate them. <laughs> and you only know that what I'm talking about if you've used these things. There we go. I think that's good. Let's see what we got. We got four people in there. Cool. Hydration break. I think that's a decent likeness. What do you think? I'm right, gonna look for a guy. You know the hats are always tough to draw, and um, you know, if you, plus I, I need a good reference photo too, guys. That's why sometimes this site is kind of tough because the people taking the pictures are trying to be sneaky about it, you know. 
and I, I prefer a head-on view. I can do a three-quarter, but um, no cowboy hats today. <laughs> wow, there's a couple funny ones here. Start, sorry, thanks for bearing with me here. Um, I saw one here that I was interested in, and I can't seem to find him. There he is. <laughs> All right. Oh, he's got some... He's got some nose hairs there, doesn't he? <laughs> or is that a nose ring? Whoa, sorry, I bumped the camera. All right. Let's see, where a, Tom Richmond's tips are, where is there more mass, above or below the eye line? I see a lot of mass above the eye line. So here's the eye line, okay. This is the T-shape that I'm talking about, that Tom uh, Richmond talks about. See it? This forms a letter T, the eyes and the nose. But I see... A whole lot of head above that eye line. And I see a whole lot of ear. <laughs> and I see a, a big chin, too. Wow. This has a lot of angles going to it. Uh, so here we go. Let's give it a whirl. <clears throat> These eyes, I, I don't even see any barely any white showing. Wow. There's so much shadow there. But he definitely sees the photographer, right? Uh, some squinty lines there. He's got very thin eyebrows. So... I'll keep that in, in mind as well. You can do a lot with these markers as far as shadows, like I just did with the eyes. All right, that nose, I'm straight down like that. There, I think we got him. Cool. <laughs> There's the mouth. All right, cheekbone. And then I kind of bring the, the jowls out from inside that cheekbone with this type of face. Now, next I go to the ear. This is a very large ear, by the way. And it's kind of protruding out like this. Very strange shape. You know what they say about old, old guys or older people? That ears and noses keep growing. <laughs> And I, I, uh, I'm a firm believer in that. All right. Let's just uh, give a shirt here. I have something. To... He's got to wear his Waldo shirt. I always put a little shadow in underneath the neck. You know, just to kind of push that head forward. All right, hair. It's light. It's kind of longish. Kind of unkempt. Uh, let's try it. Okay. 
not really any style to it at all. Just kind of lies there and floats around in the wind. Again, now I use a heavier line outside the, uh, as the outline. There we go. I don't know, he almost looks like a Simpsons character, a guy from the Simpsons or something. I was worried about this one. I, the, you want to know my toughest people to draw are old men, and I don't know why. I think it's because of the no hair, where the hair meets the scalp screws me up. I'm guilty of that. I don't have much hair left myself. But for some reason, I have trouble drawing old men. But this one went good because of he does have some hair. He has some wrinkles. Um, they tell you to put a temple line in here. You can do that like that. So there's some 3D line going back. I'm not going to do the wrinkles in the forehead. Um, just because he does have a 5 o'clock shadow. You probably can't see that. I'm just going to put that there. And we'll shade him in. What do you guys think of this one? Did I get his likeness? That dude is angry as elf. <laughs> yeah, Larry. We're going to shade this one in, Larry. Um, wow. Imagine living with him. I'm really proud of this one. I think I got the likeness pretty good. All right, shading time. Doesn't have to take long. It's just you're going in where the shadows are, okay? Thanks, Larry, for hanging in with me. I don't know if I'll ever hit my watch time hours. I'm at 2,200 watch hours now, which is the most I've ever had, obviously. But you need 4,000. And I'm not there yet, but I'm trying, man. It's tough. It's tough. Uh, I, I've learned to just kind of do this for fun and, and hope it lands <laughs> heads up for me. But meanwhile, I'm getting a lot of practice in by drawing these and helping people who are interested in caricature and mainly live caricature. You know, it's kind of, if you're ever interested in that, I can tell you about it. But the things you're going to run into and the things to look out for. Um, again, my guidelines are still in here. Oop, hiccup. So that's kind of throwing me off there. Um, let's put a little stripes in here. I do this from time to time with my arch sticks. Just at the end, you know. And I even draw with them. And that's a that's a good one. I like that one. Hey, what's up, Ziggy? Hey, Ziggy from Southwest Florida here watching too, Ziggy. Thank you so much, Ziggy, for tuning in. Hope you're doing well in Florida. My parents will be back uh, in a week or two. They are the snowbirds. We will be migrating back up north. So I'm sure the restaurants will get less busy for you, Ziggy. <laughs> That's always a complaint I hear down there. The lighting in this, these reference photos are really bad. I'm going to get out of this. The lighting is very bad. It's at dusk. So I, I can't use that. Yakima County Fair. We'll look for one more here. See if we can't uh, find another victim. I mean, there's a lot of interesting faces, but the reference of it is uh, is off for me. I should do this ahead of time, you know. <laughs> that guy's cool with the ACDC uh, bandana. Well, I got to pick one, right? What are you saying, Ziggy? That's a great one. Coming back before the hurricane season. Smart parents. Hee <laughs> hee. Ziggy, I hope you're doing good. I don't know if you're still living in your driveway like you said you were or something to that effect. Uh, I hope everything's well with you and your family. Um, I couldn't imagine going through that. I'd rather deal with a snowstorm. That's just me. <laughs> and, uh, but, 
I love parts. I love Florida as well. You know that. All right, here we go. We got some winners here. Wow. Man, if the lighting was just a little bit better. Something interesting about her. Um, it's a three-quarter view. I can try it. There's nothing really funny about it. I want a funny face. I'll come back to this one if I can't find a real funny face for you guys. Because I know you like these silly ones. Wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh man, if that was a little better, I would do it. Hat, sunglasses, yeah, too much going on in that one. Um, sorry. I think this one might do it. Um, sorry for if I'm boring you here, but uh, I want to have a good reference. Here we go. Um, I clean up wispy hair. I don't give it too much wispy hair. But she's got some interesting lines going on. She's got, um, it's all, you can go either way with this one, okay? It's kind of diamond shaped head. More mass below the eyes. She's got all in the, in the jaw. All below, all below the eyes, okay? And then the hair is obviously doing what it's doing. But the eyes are very close together. I'd say they're kind of small. And that nose and that mouth. Okay, let's hit it. That's how quick I do my pre-sketch. <laughs> Todd Goings, hey, art takes time. You've got three minutes. All right, Todd, this is my audition for the theme park caricature job. All right, tell me how I'm going to do. I don't eat pre-sketch live, by the way. Todd, I got two gigs coming up in, one, in the same week at the same college. And I wasn't going to take it, but the top caricature artist in the area asked me to do it. So I said yes. And it's literally five minutes from my house. So I said, what the heck? But I'm not taking many gigs, Todd. But Todd, you have helped me out. Thank you so much, my friend. And this lady has the eye, the, the sun in her eyes, too. Todd's right. You, you got three minutes. Go. <laughs> Todd, you did an awesome drawing of me. Thank you, brother. You even got my, my paintings in there. Thank you so much for that. That is awesome. All right. How are we doing, Todd? Are we doing it good? I'm going to cheat with the upper lip. There, I cheated. So I don't have to draw the outline. Todd knows what I'm talking about. All right, do your fill-in. Todd, don't you hate coloring? Isn't coloring caricatures like like forced labor? <laughs> it's like extra labor. I mean, I just shade. I mean, my market, Todd, is just parties. I don't do um, coloring. All right, and I don't usually give people double chins, even if they do have them. I kind of clean them up a little bit. This one will kind of go like that. And she does have it, some earrings showing. We're just going to draw the earrings. You can't see the ears, obviously. And uh, the hair. We'll do what we can here. I work from the inside out.
And I'm not going to put the uh, sunglasses on her. Yeah, a whole lot of hair. How am I doing, Todd? This is just a head shot. A little bit of the shoulder. And a little drop shadow under the chin. Am I hired, Todd? Will I get the job in Florida when I go down in my retirement years? I hope I get a job down there. That's how I'm going to spend my retirement. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't. Maybe I don't want to work in a theme park. I don't know what I want to do. Um, I got six, uh, seven years to go until I get the pension at my day job. So we'll, we're all, we don't want to wish it away either. All right. Quick little shading. She does have some forehead wrinkles. I'm not going to put them in. Well, why not? <laughs> see put adding wrinkles you shouldn't do that it doesn't it ages your um model i think i just did that for you guys that's all underneath the nose some shading and some hair this is just a wild one todd you're awesome and thanks for helping me out Wink, wink, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> that, thank you, thank you, thank you for the tips, Todd. Todd's a great artist as well, guys. Go subscribe to his channel. I don't know if he does caricatures on his channel. I barely have time to even look at YouTube lately. That's a quick one there. A friend of mine works outside a restaurant in the Gulf Shores, Alabama. Three hour wait for a table. I've seen him make 300 an hour. Wow. Okay, so he's charging per face. Um, that's cool. What kind of market do you do, Todd? I'm just curious if you're still doing events or, or, or a theme park. Wow, there's some faces here. Let's do one more. Try to find a guy here. But I don't... Todd, I hate drawing hats. Do you hate drawing hats, Todd? Um, I like this lady, but I don't know. Is it too much in shadow? Yeah, it's dark. Too dark to see. Well, if we find one here, we find one. Take one quick gander. Wow. <laughs> wow. There are some funny faces in here, man. Um, I do kind of like this lady, what she's got going on. Kind of reminds me of my grandmother. Um, we'll do this one quick. All right. And we're going to do it without the, uh, pre-sketch. All right. Nose first. Kind of a smaller nose. Nostril on that end. Nostril over there. All right, now we're going to hit the shades. And she's got some bottom teeth showing there. Oh, 
big under lip there. She got some wide cheekbones. God, this is terrible. I don't like this one at all, guys. This one sucks. I don't know what I screwed up with, Todd. Um, shades fuck me up. I don't know. She looks like a a gremlin. Oh, maybe I saved it. Maybe we saved it, Todd. Yeah, things look odd with shades. Alright. That was just a quick one there. Not bad. Not good. The, 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 the shades are off. Like one of them's bit. This one's bigger than this one. I hate shades. I hate hats. <laughs> you know, I, uh, I just do. Anybody talking? Mainly draw for tips on a nice day at the park. No stress. It's free. I'm still a student building my retirement plan. All right, twenty dollars per face color only option. In color only option. I've seen. All right, that's good to know. Thank you, Todd. Appreciate it, brother. I always like hearing what others do. And I saw a face back here. We'll try to grab her. All right, it's kind of an upshot. And we'll see what we can do. All right. Last one here. Here we go. Some of them are easier to draw than others, you know? What is with these, these, these eyebrows? All these... Did you guys notice that? Like, the last... Three of these women have these painted on eyebrows. Are they, sh they shave them? Like, why? I don't get it. Hey, to each their own. Uh, who am I to judge, right? Nose. If you can see, there's some shapes here to look for in that bottom part of the nose. And I just... Got that one down pretty good, I think. And uh, she's got that big smile. And both bottom and top teeth are showing. And I'll throw a tongue in there. It's more cartoony. There we go. Don't forget the other eyebrow mark. All right. Lip. Lip. Chin. She's got a wider face, okay? And a rounder face. See, I think this is pleasing. This is, this is a nice one. Got these big earrings hanging down and a shorter type of forehead. I'm just going to do a line and then for the inner part of the hair. And it gets wavier the longer it gets. And it gets wider out here. See that? All righty. There we go. You gotta think like hair, I guess, right? I don't mess with hair too much. I mean, you got to, we got to, but 
I try to simplify it. But hair can trip me up sometimes. And a quick shading. And we'll wrap it up. I think that nose came out perfect. Guys, thanks so much for watching in the, in the live stream and the replay. Todd, Larry, Jim, all the rest who are just hanging out. I can see people are in there just hanging out. Thank you. And finishing up with the Prismacolor Art Stick. And a little shading around the face just to kind of hold it together. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. We'll see you next time.